guys, it's happening! The latest episode of Skippity Toilet has been released! In this episode, we're gonna be checking out Skippity Toilet 72 Part 1, which we have been waiting two weeks to watch. So strap in, ladies and gentlemen, find a comfy spot, get yourself a snack, here we go. Now, the description says, cameraman scientist receives reinforcements. That's all that we get. That is every bit of information. So let's see what that means. I'm excited. I have been waiting so long, checking every single day. Okay, we're starting out with upgraded Titan cameraman. Camera offline. Oh, okay. So I think this is one of the guys. Yeah, in the mech suit, which is pretty sick. The war still rages on. Now, in the previous episode, we saw G-Man left. We saw the Astro Toilet sort of like following G-Man, kind of. But we don't know if they're on the same team yet, or if the Astro Toilets are trying to get rid of G-Man once and for all. Oh my gosh, bro. This dude is ripped. This guy is awesome. He is unreal. He's surrounded right now. I think he gets out of it. Come on. Oh, okay. Okay, wait, uh, what the flip is happening? What the flip is going on? Who are these dudes? Police skibbities? But, like, they're, 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 like, have human bodies. Whoa. Guys, I don't know what that is. That is awesome. It looks like upgraded Titan cameraman, but, like, a compact version. Also, who the flip is this guy? What? He kind of looks like season one G-Man. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Dude, he had the dad snoring sound effect before he died. <laughs> wow. Okay, so, yeah, those were the reinforcements that the description was talking about. Oh, yeah, dude. Yo, he's got the toilet paper grenade, and he's picking up the giant sickle. Yo, yo, bro, he's just mad that he took the L. Huh? Is that G-Man? It is G-Man. Of course it's G-Man, bro. G-Man, you lost. Do you not realize you lost the war? It's over. Oh, no. Just when we got, like, this cool little upgraded Titan cameraman rover thing. Oh, dude. R.I.P. Okay, that had some text on it. I want to check that out eventually, but let's finish out this episode. Okay, so G-Man's on the retreat, but... Okay, that's not one of the Astro Toilets, right? No, I think that's one of, like, the Engineer Toilets. Oh, there's the Astro Toilet. Okay, guys. So the Astro Toilet is clearly not on G-Man's team. Oh, it's over for G-Man. Look at that little smirk on G-Man's face at the end of that. That was insane. Wow, I got to check out the comments before talking about that. No one escaped justice. Yeah. So obviously Astro Toilet is going to destroy G-Man. Like, it is over for G-Man. I cannot wait for the next episode. But, yeah, the, uh, the the toilet paper was the best. That little grenade was so cool. But, yeah, that, I think, is, is the entire episode. I honestly did not expect Astro Toilet to be as big or maybe even bigger than G-Man. I thought they were a little bit tinier when they were first introduced, like, earlier in the series. But, wow. We are about to watch the end of G-Man next episode, unless something changes. But guys, we're going to go ahead over to Elite Cameraman's channel, my new favorite channel that does all things Skibbity. And yeah, he does a deep dive and talks about his opinions. So let's see what those are. Hello, everyone. Elite Hi. Cameraman here. Hi, Elite Today's Cameraman. Today's episode was nuts. We just witnessed the start of one of the craziest battles we might see in the whole series. Yes. After three weeks of waiting, episode 72, part one of Skibidi Toilet finally came out, and the ending really did leave me speechless. But it wasn't just the ending. We also got to see some of the OG characters once again, like the Strider camera and Mech cameraman, who was the POV cameraman of today's episode. We'll talk about all this and why the Astro Toilets are after G-Man Toilet later in the video. 
I think we can all safely say that we are in for a crazy ride when part two of episode 72 comes out. So if you don't want to miss any news, leaks, or updates about episode 72 part two, make sure to like this video and subscribe. We are getting really close to 1.5 million subscribers. Hey, let's go elite cameraman. Subscribe, subscribe, we'll easily reach the milestone. He's killing it Anyways, lately. Here we go. First of all, if you guys have watched the interview I did with Boom himself, you'd know that Boom didn't even count episode 72 in the episodes that he was hyped for in the Interesting. Future. Even though this is the case, this episode really did not disappoint. It actually kind of felt like the OG episodes with all the chaos in the beginning. But it's crazy that Boom said that episode 73 and 74 will be even better. So those are the next two episodes uh, that we have to look forward to. 73, 74. They are going to be bangers, according to the creator of the series. And in part two of episode 72, we'll most likely get to watch a crazy battle. I really am so hyped for the next couple episodes. This episode starts with the ending of episode 70, part three, where Plunger Cameraman dies and his POV goes offline. And the POV actually changes to the mech scientist toilet. We can actually see that it says cameraman underscore scientist oh, underscore yeah, it does. 1337 on the tablet itself, meaning that all the cameramen have their job titles written down. Seeing plunger cameraman's POV go offline right at the end of the battle must have been so hard for the mech cameraman, because if you guys didn't know, he was one of plunger cameraman's best friends. We literally saw them go out in battle together in the earlier episodes. And this is shown by his reaction when he smashes his mech after seeing the offline screen, but he has no time to mourn since there is an actually battle going on next to him. Yeah, he's about to he get surrounded. To the road and we see one of the scenes we saw in one of the leaks. We can see the reinforcement cameraman fighting against the toilets, but suddenly the new police mutant toilet that we saw in the leaks shoots his rockets at the mech cameraman, forcing him to hold back while the other cameramen are struggling. This leads to Mech Cameraman using his lasers to get back at the police mutant toilet, but he easily blocks it thanks to his crazy shield. That's not all, because if we go back to episode 54 and look at the Mech Cameraman, he definitely had different weapon arms. Oh this yeah, means definitely. That he either just got an upgrade, or maybe he has different arms depending on the mission he is going, because last time he used a stun dart to stun the glitch toilet. And in this episode, he is like a killing machine with lasers, blades, and fists. After using his lasers, a new type of mutant toilet shows up and starts rushing towards the mech cameraman. This mutant toilet looks like a combination of the buzzsaw mutant and the police mutant. Pretty but much, yeah. For him, the mech cameraman smacks the skibidi out of him, knocking him down and using his crazy lasers to kill the mutant toilet. We talked about this in the leak video, but it really does seem like we'll be seeing a lot more mutant toilets every new episode if it goes like this. After killing the mutant, Mech Cameraman turns back to help the other cameraman by killing one of the rocket launcher toilets, but it doesn't end here because another one of the buzzsaw <clears throat> mutants jump on him from nowhere, but blood stops him at the last second. <sighs> that was Mech so close. doesn't get hurt, but the mutant toilet destroys his tablet right before Mech Cameraman pulls out the blade he had in his arm to stab him in his head. But the weird thing is, almost no blood comes out of his head, and instead of like a head stabbing sound, we hear like a machine stabbing sound. What's even weirder is that after the mech cameraman throws him onto the ground, he gets up once again as if nothing happened, even though he... Okay, so there's got to be a new race with these mutant skibbity toilets where like they are not human and they're robots. They're like Terminators where I don't know if they're going to have to figure out a new way to dispose of these skibbities or if they're literally just going to have to like blow every single one up into a million pieces in order to make it so that they're actually dead. But that is so scary. He was stabbed in the head. But before he can do anything, the mech cameraman uses the lasers to completely <clears throat> demolish the mutant toilet. Suddenly, mech cameraman looks behind and sees another one of these mutant toilets jumping onto him. And he, also he is kills surrounded that right now. Hesitation. He also had a couple other like like just normal cameramans with him. And I'm guessing they probably did not survive this battle. But sadly, he can see three rocket launcher toilets, one helicopter toilet and two more mutant toilets on their way to kill him. If you look carefully and zoom in, you can see that even though these two mutant toilets look similar to the last few, they actually have different weapons. One only has his fists, and the other one has two axes. But before we can see them fight, 
Mech cameraman turns to his left and sees his cameraman friends get cut in half by the sickle the police mutant toilet has. These two cameramen really had the same fate as Dark Speaker Man and Plunger Cameraman. Rest in peace to all of them. Have to also, pay respects, about boys. This weapon is that it is the same weapon. <laughs> it is, yeah. In the last Puss in Boots movie. Great but movie, by the way. Check it out if you get a like chance. Four times the size of the other mutant toilets. Bro looks like he can bench a whole Titan. And he has no mercy because even after cutting the cameraman in half, he also steps on one of them as if it's nothing while shooting off two rockets at the mech cameraman. Yeah, I don't think we've seen any Skibbities look this angry, dude. He definitely got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. He looks like he stubs his toe every single second. He is angry. And, and he dodges them while starting up his lasers to attack the police mutant toilet. But the police mutant opens up his shield to block the attacks once again, while getting closer to Mech Cameraman to slap him with the sickle and stab it into the mech to break his systems. But luckily enough, the police mutant toilet suddenly gets shot right on his neck, knocking him back a little, and this is no ordinary attack, because if you look carefully, it literally made him bleed, and Bro was shook when he saw what attacked him. After seeing the police mutant shocked, the Mech Cameraman also looks behind, and we see a bunch of toilets trying to kill a flying object, but they all end up dying. Once this flying thing lands down, it's revealed that it's an upgraded version of the Strider cameras and holy moly, the Striders are crazy now. Mm -hmm. They can fly and their firepower has increased so much. We see the Strider shoot the police mutant toilet a couple times, which leads to him trying to escape, but bro stumbled on something and fell down with the goofy metal sound. Mech cameraman looks back at the Strider camera, and out of nowhere something attacks him, so we look back once again and see a commander soldier toilet coming out of nowhere, and bro is chilling because he doesn't even drop his cigar while getting attacked <laughs> by a bunch of explosive beams True. and keeps shooting his rockets. <laughs> Thankfully, the new Strider camera is so strong that these attacks don't even scratch him, and he actually uses his main weapon, which is the camera lens itself, to shoot that a crazy part was powerful beam. Awesome. Just like the Titan cameraman and the commander soldier toilet literally does the goofy ah sound while dying <laughs> with the goofy metal sounds after he dies. I really was not expecting that sound effect while watching Bruh. That one really made me laugh. While we are on the topic of sound effects, Boom sent me his editing timeline for this episode, and it's crazy. Wow. The amount of time that goes into even just the sound effects are crazy. Bro literally has a whole maze in his editing timeline. <laughs> After this, we see the mech cameraman giving a double thumbs up. And it's funny because he uses one mech hand and one normal hand while doing this. Right after this, we see the mech cameraman slowly walking towards the police mutant toilet. Dude, I wish they were able to get out okay. Strider camera protecting him. And honestly, this is where the real deal of the episode starts. Mech cameraman throws a toilet paper grenade while walking towards the injured police mutant, and he actually stops in front of him to grab his sickle to most likely use against him. But before he can do that, the police mutant flips him off, and suddenly we start hearing some explosion sounds, which leads to the police mutant toilet yeah, laughing. Because just when you thought the coming. cameraman were, nowhere, was going to win, G-Man toilet shows up, destroying G -Man comes out of nowhere. Again, just like what happened in episode seven. G-Man ruins everything. Once again, he does the Rizzy eyebrow emote, <laughs> but this time while attacking the mech cameraman. He's so Bro sus. can't get away with this every single time. He almost kills the mech cameraman as well. But we dodge attack as much as we can while the Strider camera starts flying and attacking G-Man toilet. But sadly, even he is not strong enough to go against G-Man. Also, we see G-Man toilet using a new yellow shield, and it looks awfully like the Titan cameraman shield from episodes yeah. 64 and 65. True. Most likely because they stole the Titan cameraman shield tech to use it themselves. They always do that. They literally steal every piece of technology from Team Cameraman. And then they just use it. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. They, they kind of make it better most of the time. So I'm not mad about it. However, they got to come up with some of their own ideas. It's crazy because we really don't know what type of upgrades G-Man Toilet got, and at the end of the episode, it looked like he still had some new tools that he hasn't showed us yet. After he shields himself, he uses only his left side rockets to literally demolish the Strider camera, and right when this is happening, the mech cameraman's mech starts giving out errors, so he jumps down to protect himself, and the mech literally explodes a second later. Oof. Close we call. also can see the mech scientist walking even though he lost his legs in the earlier episodes. 
This most likely means that he got his legs back, just like the other cameramen who were injured in the battlefield after getting up once again, we can see the whole squad who was with G-Man in episode 71 slowly continuing their way. They're all flying away enough, like cowards. DJ toilet floating once again. <laughs> Bro really is a different breed. <laughs> after almost everyone continues their way, one of the mechanic toilets slow down to say something to G-Man toilet, and we see G-Man toilet lowering his head lasers to talk back to him, but it's unknown what they talked about, and what happens right after this scene was the real shocker, because out of nowhere, the claw Astro Toilet shows up, and Bro is gigantic. He literally <laughs> is bigger than G-Man Toilet, from yeah, what it looks like. Yeah, I wasn't expecting him to be that big. the mechanic Toilet with his gravity claws to kill him, and literally throws it back to G-Man while actually talking to G-Man Toilet. And once again, he is speaking English. I actually asked about him talking English to Boom, and in our Q&A, he mentioned that all the Skibidis knew all the languages, but they prefer speaking speaking Skibidi. And he says, you know the penalty for treason, Commander. No one escapes justice. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. And then he starts and powering up, dude. And phased by this at all and starts charging up all of his weapons this time to get ready and attack with a grin on his I face. I think G-Man might be a little scared. toilet talking about? He called G-Man a commander and mentioned that he was a traitor. This reveals why the Astro Toilets were after G-Man Toilet, but we don't exactly know what the treason was. The Astro Toilet saying no one escapes justice means that they are there to kill G-Man off to serve their justice. Okay, yeah, I, I have a theory right now, and I mean, this is just a random thought, but the Astro Toilets, I mean, you would think that they might be like some alien creatures that are going from planet to planet, kind of just like doing their thing, and maybe the whole point of the Skibbities is like they're aliens, and they were sent to Earth to take over and turn all of the people into Skibbity Toilets, which is pretty much what they ended up doing until the secret agent, you know, formed the camera people, the speaker people, the TV people, and then started to fight back. And that's how we got the Skibbity Toilet War. So it could just be that. And then maybe G-Man and the scientist let the power go to their heads. And maybe they just started out as like, like the scientist was under G-Man um, and G-Man was like the commander in charge of taking over Earth. But then he decided to rebel against the Astro Toilets and thought that he was more powerful than them and then tried to take power for himself. That could be what's happening. And then now the Astro Toilets have come back and they're saying that he's a traitor and that he tried to do stuff that he wasn't authorized to do by them because really the astro toilets are the ones that are definitely in charge at least based on their power level they are definitely clearly like the top dogs in the skibbity food chain i think it's likely that we'll get to learn more about this treason in the next couple episodes because it really could be anything whatever happens in the next episode is going to be crazy and it actually will be the first time we see a toilet versus toilet battle which i'm so excited about Whatever happens in the next episode is going to be crazy. That is going to be awesome. And if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys are subscribed and click right here to see more Skibbity Toilet.